Two cars travel at 30 and 50 miles per hour respectively. If the second car starts out 10 miles behind the first car, how long will it take the second car to overtake the first car? So with a problem like this, we need to create a variable for the time it will take for both cars to meet. So we can call that t, and that's equal to the time for both cars to meet. And now that we have our variable, what we can do is draw a little diagram to get a better idea of what's happening. So we know that both cars will start at different points but will end at the same point. So let's say the top part is for the first car and the bottom part is for the second car. So notice that they end at the same point. And what we know is that the second car is going to start out 10 miles behind the first car. And since we know that the first car is going 30 miles an hour, and the second car is going 50 miles per hour, and with the first car, it's going to start and then travel for t amount of time to this point here. And the entire way, it's going the same speed. So we could say that the distance the first car travels is just that 30 miles an hour multiplied by the number of hours it takes. Since we know that the rate of something multiplied by the time will just give us a distance. And once the second car travels from its starting point to the starting point of the first car, this 10 miles here, then it's just going to cover the exact same distance as that of the first car, which we have already figured out is just 30 times t. So the total distance the second car travels is this 10 miles here plus this 30 times t. And the total distance that the second car travels, since it's going 50 miles an hour, would just be 50 times t, the amount of time that it takes from its starting point to catching the first car. So in other words, if we look specifically at the second diagram here of the second car, we know that the 10 miles in the beginning plus the 30 times t is just going to be equal to this total distance, which we figured out is 50 times t. So now if we solve this equation for t, we can figure out how many hours it takes for both cars to meet. So if we subtract 30t from each side, we're left with 10 is equal to 20 times t. And then dividing each side by 20, we're left with t is equal to 10 over 20, or 1 half. So the total time it takes for each car to meet and for the second car to pass the first car is 1 half of an hour.